Liftoff occurred in late 2015 as the first step in normalizing monetary policy. But you had argued that the balance sheet should be adjusted first before raising the federal funds rate. Why? I argued uh, quite a bit for the so-called LIFO policy, last in, first out policy, and I thought there was a clear argument in favor of that. I still think that today. You're trying to ease monetary policy, so you lower the policy rate. You hit the zero lower bound or the effective lower bound, and you can't lower the policy rate any further. So then you come with a second tool that says that you're going to do asset purchases and uh, quantitative easing. And so you do that, and that increases the size of your balance sheet. And then when you think the economy's recovered sufficiently, it seems like the natural sequence of events is to then reduce the size of the balance sheet once again down to its normal size. And then once that process is finished, then you would raise the policy rate. And then the policy rate would go back to its normal level. That makes a lot of sense because the amount of reserves in the system are initially low and then uh, they go way up during the asset purchases so you would like to bring the level of reserves way back down again and then then you could run your operating procedure the same way that you did and then you could raise the policy rate the same way that you did. Chair Bernanke did not want to go in this direction and made the argument that people understand the policy rate, but people don't understand the quantitative easing, and therefore you should use the tool that people understood better. So that was his argument that when and if you can use the normal policy tool, of, of uh, then you should use it. And so he wanted to do the liftoff first and worry about the balance sheet later, which is what the committee has ended up doing. I still think that probably this is the wrong approach. Uh, what that forced us to do was um, raise the policy rate in a world of superabundant reserves. Uh, there are you know, way more reserves in the system than there were uh, before the crisis. And because reserves aren't scarce, that has to do with uh, you know, how you run your operating procedure and makes it very complicated. And so we had to make sure that the policy rate would actually go up when we wanted it to go up. And, I think probably created communications problems around that that may not have been necessary. So that debate is still around today. Uh, it's not, not quite been resolved, but um, anyway, I lost the LIFO argument, mm -hmm. I guess, is the basic okay. uh, bottom line of that. Yeah. <laughs>